Do you have an email signature set out for all your outgoing emails? And do you know how important it is? If you don't and you haven't, then you should consider watching this video on the five main important Gmail features that most people are yet to explore. And if you have watched that video, then this is how you set up or you create an email signature using Google Docs. The first thing that you need to do is log into your Google account and get access to Google Docs. Now, once you're on this page, click on create a blank document. Then uh, name this document something like um, email signature or you can just type the word signature. So once you've typed the word signature, you need to create a table here with one row and two columns. So you click on insert, then go to table and just select um, one row two columns two times one then now you need to uh, reduce the size of the left hand side because your photo is going to appear here in the text here to increase the size of this click on on that section and press enter to expand it you can also reduce this uh, the size of this other side if you wish to and make it um, maybe much more compact now once you've done this you're going to begin by inserting your picture in this section where you just make sure your cursor is in the inside section click on insert uh, take image from computer you can upload from computer and then i'm going to select a photo from within my download so i'm just going to look for uh, an image that i downloaded that can be used here so um let me choose uh, for instance this here and click on insert now once i have that that image appears too big you can always try to choose the right dimensions you can create a square image and insert it there so once i have that image on the left hand side i'll type the text on this other side beginning by your name so let's say your name is jane say jane j then type your position if you want to say maybe um let's say a business person let's type business business person so this is just a sample title then um, maybe you can type the company maybe you can something like james uh, business might sound boring but it's just a sample so you type anything regarding your titles and the kind of business that you're doing here so uh, you can as well change this let's change this to manage i think that will uh, look a bit more you know reasonable manager agents business then you can maybe put a website and then uh, add something like uh, maybe facebook to your socials facebook instagram add twitter and any other social media account that you use to market your business now once you're done with this you can um, link this but then there is one important thing that we have left you can add your email address up here so you can something like james james business at gmail.com once you have done that i said that you need to link this so we're going to link one of this here we're going to do it for facebook so i'll go to the facebook account and click on the profile to get the link once you click on your profile the link will be up here you copy that and um, you'll copy this so and then come back to your google docs and select this and paste it there select and then uh, go to insert and link down here and paste your link then click on apply so you do this for everything here for the website for instagram and for um, facebook or twitter or anything else that you need to set up so once you've set this up you need to copy this everything here you need to copy everything here and then go to your gmail and then go to settings oh, see all settings then um, under the general settings here you scroll to the bottom where you have a signature and then you paste it here so i had tried something yes but i had not saved it so you you paste what you want to paste in that section whatever you have created you paste it there and then after pasting you'll click on save and anytime you create an email you'll notice that 
the, in, the email signature will appear within your email so that's how you create an email signature for your google account and if you have not watched these five most important email features that most people don't use then you should consider clicking on the link that pops up above or in the description so that you can customize your email address to fit your preferences and serve you better